All right, with less than 24 hours to go in my April monthly Thor News fundraiser, I'm going to need a miracle, and every dollar helps. I only got to raise $1,369, so if you'd like to make a contribution through my snail mail, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, or Patron, it will be greatly appreciated. All right, now let me get with impressing you with awesome information. Nadine, the hunter of rocks, has created a perfect chart for people who confuse lava and magma and mix them up. If it is above the soil, it is a lava lamp. If it is below the soil, it is a magma lamp. Hope that clears it up for everybody. I wish they would make a chart like that for stalactites and stalagmites. Okie dokie. Speaking of volcanoes and earthquakes, we had a notable six earthquake in New Zealand, kind of right where a month ago we had the 8.1. You had a 5.4 in Mexico. You have the Popocatépetl volcano here and the Pacaya and Fuego volcanoes down here. And then in this weird one, in the middle of the mid-Atlantic Ridge, you had a 5.0. There is a one sunspot on the sun, but conditions seem to be closer to solar minimum than solar maximum. So I wouldn't be surprised if we would see cold shots in different parts of the earth and geomagnetic unrest is likely over the next few days april 6th or and 7th gases material flowing from a southern coronal hole so keep an eye out for weird weather plus there's mysterious steve but we talked about him before and speaking of the 6th or 7th we do have a slight risk area for wichita kansas all that they Kansas, Lawrence, Kansas, Joplin, Missouri, and Salina, Kansas. And it looks like there's a state in there somewhere they didn't mention. Whatever state you are. And then on the 7th, which would be Wednesday, that area shifts to the east. We're talking Memphis, Tennessee, Louisiana, Shreveport, Little Rock, Arkansas, Jackson, Mississippi, and Longview, Texas. We'll be watching out for severe weather, possible tornadic activity, and things of that nature but after a few quiet days the weather is definitely picking up again so if you're going to be in the midsection of the usa lower 48 you may want to stay on your toes and notice you get a little red up here so be on the lookout minnesota and dakotas and my mind blank for geography geometry yeah, okay. All right, now we're going to take a look at the latest GFS models that'll take us up to about the 13th as we watch the pattern begin to get active. And so we'll see the storm grow around the 6th and the 7th through the 8th as it moves out and moves up. And then you get that weird low down by Florida that we will have to keep an eye on. This whole pattern seems weird. I just want to say that. And there's just something about the pattern. Can't put my finger on it. But with all the retrograding and high north stuff, it just seems kind of weird to me. And now the second to last tornado outbreak, we had, I don't know, was it 50 tornadoes? And nobody died. And then the one after that, we had quite a few tornadoes. And then people died. So let us try to get lucky if we do get a tornado outbreak over the next few days. But definitely pay attention if you are in the danger zones because we have definitely been seeing quite a few tornadoes already early in uh, severe weather season. I have been absolutely obsessed with this low that just kind of is hanging out in the middle of the Atlantic, being blocked by a giant high. And look how giant that storm is. Anyway, it's just being blocked. And that seems weird. And then notice how that high pressure system seems to push everything back to the west. When most of these storms go from west to east, I don't know. It, usually sometimes when we see the triple low pattern lined up, that leads to a big storm somewhere. Or if later down the line we get a stronger version of that triple pattern, then we may see something like that even in hurricane season, which is now less than two months away.
Yeah, dude, that is a giant storm in the middle of the Atlantic. It's a fish storm. But still, the whole giant high with the low, there's something weird about it that I can't seem to put my finger on. Yep, you're, you're, you're about to be getting some activity. Scott the Duncanator is saying, brace yourself. Arctic air is engulfing almost all of Europe in the next few hours. You should notice a massive temperature drop. Snow is falling quite widely across parts of northern Europe as we speak. Speaking of snow, Fairbanks, Alaska apparently got some record-setting snow. Over the last 24 hours, a record-setting Easter snow. The official Fairbanks snowfall total for this event is up to 13.9 inches since Friday evening. Montana is set to see some snow in the lower 48. They're expecting more high elevation snow and lower elevation rain. This forecast radar loop shows most of the activity remaining west of Billings throughout the day. You got Graupel falling in Kent in the United Kingdom this morning. And you might be like, what is Graupel? And it's like soft hail. You know, it's the kind of hail when it hits you in the face. You're like, oh, wow, that is soft. What? Man, if my contributions depend on my quality of jokes, I'm going to need to pull some good jokes out of my keister to save my rear end. Was that a double negative? I thought that was dumb. Okay, yeah, this is Germany. It is snowing a lot, 20 meters above sea level. Then you've got some rain and lightning tracking through Wisconsin, so says Lindsay Slater. Hey, we are almost to flash flooding season. Well, flash flooding can happen any month in the U.S., but the most active time of the year, a several-month period from late April to mid-September, in which about 75% of all flash flooding reports are received. Remember, if you're going to sign up for flood insurance, it takes a month for that to kick in, so make the choice as soon as possible ahead of hurricane season. Life is a cliffhanger. Naval mine... mine found on the beach a naval mine washed ashore in broward county where many people usually go to relax well yeah i would agree mines and bombs don't make things very relaxing you've got tropical cyclone 27s in the ocean the indian ocean yeah stas says it looks like two storm chasing targets setting up for wednesday cold core in Iowa, and open warm sector in East Arkansas. He prefers the southern target. Every day is St. Patty's Day to Tim Kelly. And I just made that up. Same wind hitting Isle of Shoals, hitting his house right now. His house is shaking again. And that is in the northeast, somewhere near Boston. I think he's getting a stiff breeze. But yeah, they're getting a good bit of weather over the pond. I need some more ways to describe Europe. Sweet, but I'm a list of things to do. Apparently, Mars' bizarre dark streaks are not as interesting as they originally thought they were. What? Uh, this is weird. Okay. Dust. That's what caused them. Dust. Solar wind-wise, the BZB tipping. Negative 7.7. And Brooks Garner is talking about our stretch of record highs continues with 80s ahead today. Thunderstorms are possible tomorrow with cooler highs in the 50s to around 60. And he's talking about Colorado. Yeah, you're, you're getting a drastic weather change. If you're like, I bet it's snowing in Lebanon. Well, you were right. Fresh snowfall at 1,500 meters elevation in Zarur, Lebanon on April 2nd. The Pacaya volcano in Guatemala is still going off like crazy. Although this video footage is not the most impressive, but yeah, it is definitely burning down a lot of the vegetation and causing problems to the villagers and people that live there. And 18 people died getting hit by cold mud flows from a volcano on Indonesia's Lombada Island. So anytime volcanoes start to kill people, that is a bad volcano sign. 
and we are looking for volcanic activity to continue to increase with all the gas giants on the same side of the sun, causing there to be no balance. Halo CME thinks Sunspot AR-12813 has peaked. Maybe it has. Yeah, but it definitely feels like more solar minimum -y than solar maximum -y. But, you know, solar maximum is not supposed to happen until, like, 2025, so. And solar minimum happened in end of 2019, so that makes more sense. But the sun has been more active than people predicted. You had some fires breaking out in California last night. You had hundreds of families of Florida's Manatee County were ordered to evacuate Saturday after officials warned the Piney Point Reservoir about 40 miles south of Tampa could flood homes if it collapses, but it hasn't collapsed yet. You got some pretty nasty fires in Rio Frio. Looks more like a volcano. And in the USA, there are quite a few pink fire watch spots, or whatever you call them. So be on the lookout. The Westwood fire, the train kind of looks like volcanoes, but they're saying it was a fire. All right. Dangerous days ahead, weather-wise. And I will be here covering it for you guys, because that is what I do. And if you appreciate what I do, I need your help to stay up and running. You can send me a letter with a contribution if you'd like. PayPal, Venmo, Cash App work really well. I got a Patron, and I got a whole lot of love and appreciation. I'm very grateful for y'all that I was able to do this for as long as I have been. Only got $1,369 left to raise. Less than 24 hours left to go. Every dollar helps. And I love you guys. Um, but definitely thank you to Asteroid Fight Club. Thank you to Melanie, Charlotte, Juan, Miles, Preston, Randy CW, Jason, Randy S, Fred, Mike, Joshua, Kyle, JL, Ellie, Thomas, and Darlene. All right, I'm going to go pray for a miracle for myself personally. Oh, yeah, and if you look in the sky, you can see a lot of that Saharan dust that happens to be floating around. I saw it last night at night, which I thought was kind of weird. But if you're in Florida, enjoy the last cool air of the season, question mark. This brought to us by Mike's Weather Page Tropical Update. Monday morning, Southeast Temps thinks slowly warming back up this week. Could be the last real cool front of the season. Soak it up. And like I said, hopefully the sun will wake up soon, and then better times will be had by all. Okay. God bless everyone. I'll talk to y'all soon. I'm just going to bang out videos and pray. That's what, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I hope you have a great day and you have a great week. And I love you. Peace out. God bless everyone.